Welcome to Condors Countdown. Ryan Holt joined by Condors head coach Troy Mann. And uh, coach, the front end of the home and home last night in Las Vegas. Condors got off to a good start, a one nothing lead. But uh, did you get the sense of even though the penalty kill was rolling last night, killed off five penalties, that uh, maybe being on the PK, being shorthanded, kind of stemmed the momentum a little bit there last night? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, not to make excuses, but I, th I really liked our start. I thought the lines were rolling. Uh, we got into penalty trouble. And then obviously the, the glass issues uh, with the 20-minute delays over that first period didn't really help our rhythm and uh, you know certainly you've got to you know keep playing and, and, and face adversity but uh, there's no doubt that it took some momentum away from our start. I talked about it last night on the air but uh, for the most part of the last month you've been able to have the same six defensemen back there on the blue line how important has that been uh, not only for the veterans out there but to have those four rookies being able to know that they're in the lineup every night and get out there on that blue line yeah I, I really liked our defense last night I thought the guys played well back there they were moving the puck uh, if there was any uh, issues with the overall team I, I, I didn't like our forwards overall uh, but uh, you know I thought Pajot really looked good last night I thought Leach and Marciano as a third pairing D were solid and didn't really give up anything and then you know Bergie and Cunny have been really good of late as well. So uh, no qualms with the D. Thought they were real solid. Um, just from a forward standpoint, I just thought we had some passengers over the course of 60 minutes. Condors had 20 shots through the opening two periods last night. And I said, well, if the Condors can get 10 to 15 shots here in the third period, Puck's going to find the back of the net. But just a case a little bit too, much, too little too late there. Yeah, and, and that's been one of our issues this year when we've played an OK hockey game. And, you know, I didn't think we were great last night, but I certainly didn't think we were played a poor road game. And, uh, you know, when you struggle offensively overall, uh, you know, when you don't uh, – you know, when you have a team on the run and you don't bury a couple, that's what usually happens. And I thought the last 10 minutes of the third period, we had a number of great A's to at least get the equalizer, and we weren't able to capitalize. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, they got the empty net goal, and that's, that's, the, that's the hockey game there. So, um, you know, when you have a team on the run, you've certainly got to try and get those goals in there right off the hop, and uh, it would have been a different, uh, different hockey game. What's your message to the team tonight before a big game against Las Vegas? Well, you know, uh, you know, you, you go day by day, but certainly last night wasn't a great night overall for us with, uh, you know, the four teams that are kind of clustered from sixth to ninth. Um, you know, we just got to keep, you know, staying focused and winning hockey games here, and we'll be fine. But uh, tonight is a game where we need to get those two points back. And, um, you know, it's a month of December where we only have 10 hockey games, so there's plenty of rest. Uh, and it's, uh, other teams are probably playing more than 10 games. So from our perspective, we've got to certainly get some points this month here. So once the new year turns around, we're in a good position to uh, challenge from anywhere from 6th to 8th. All right, Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck tonight. Thank you. It's Condors Head Coach Troy Mann. We'll have more on your Condors Broadcast Network.